And we are back to chapter 11. Last time we faced off against the Death Goyle. Joshua took care of him handily. LaRachel actually moved out to heal us. Seth is a little injured, but I think now we can actually reach LaRachel to talk to her. Hmm, now who needs some healing? Not really anyone, so I think it may be safe. Hmm. Let's try down here. Okay. Okay, good. There's no one else around. Tana, can you please kill something? Four, ten. What about the iron? Hmm. Hmm. I'm sure Tana can take on these. You know what? I think I'm going to let her take on... What's the furthest range? Okay. You need to talk to La Rachel. Mm, might be. I think that's out of range here. Yeah. La Rachel has pretty good resistance, but I don't think she. Well, yeah, they won't care. Now then, let's try and utilize Teddy's a little better. I'm not the best at when it comes to utilizing my dancers, but I still like having them regardless. How about the silver, Erica? Oh, so close. Mm, it's not enough. We'll just go for the steel. Oh, this may warrant some healing afterwards. Okay. Hmm, now who to leave on the back lines here? I'm thinking Joshua and Seth. I wonder if Dawes look can lure anyone out. Archer, why don't you go heal? Well, I wouldn't mind Erica and Tana to take them on. I don't really need Erica down here for anything else now that don't want Joshua getting hit, and of course Colm has to stay away from them. I think I'll just keep Seth near Erica. Build support. Just I was hoping you would. Can you double him though? Okay, good. No strength yet again, but speed. Point of speed is like double your strength, kind of. And weapon level. Okay, two easy kills for Tana. Definitely what we want here. I hear a bone walker. I love the noises the bone walkers make. I hope it's not a bow one. That would be really bad for Tana. Hmm. Guess we can send Joshua up to this room with Dazla. Are you healed? Yeah. Oh, hello there. Meet Dazla. Oh, his battle animations are off. Let's go ahead and fix that. Well, Rachel can probably stay off as well. Then why don't we have Seth and Erica take on... What are you equipping? You're fine. Okay. Hey, that might be useful for Tana. Hmm. First things first, let's have some healing. I should probably get to using that torch staff. I'm pretty sure there's also some skeletons down here, so I really want to be cautious with Tana and not to put her in range of any bowed enemies. 
Um, Rachel, we're not really using you. You can just hang out. Oh, those guys are further back than I thought. Yeah, we definitely want to get what's in that third chest up there. And Jazza got poisoned. <laughs> that would have been the perfect kill for someone else. Okay, yeah, someone's gonna have to stand on that. Not Tana. Hmm, there's just a lot of points of entry we do have to be very cautious of. Okay. Archer, you can certainly take this point. Now then... Yeah, I'm really just afraid of any bow unit coming out of here and sniping Tana. No crit. Can you dodge? Okay. Don't want to have two poison using units running around. And he's worth a lot of XP. Yeah, he's basically a promoted remnant. We're at level 2. Even more speed for Joshua. Hmm. Suppose we could have a dance here to help Mulder along. Heal you up. Mulder's not getting a lot of use out of that torch staff, unfortunately, but... Put you in the middle, and hello there. I wonder if Tana can take you on... Well, what would I say? A point of speed was like double your strength. <sighs> well, I guess we'll have two poison units after all. But, on the plus side, it is safe for Colm to come up here and get this chest. And the boss is about right here, I want to say. Okay, no crit rate. That's what I was mainly afraid of going into this chapter. The monsters have pretty bad stats overall, it's not too much of a threat. And what will Archer get? Okay, a bit of luck, a bit of speed, very good. And can we take on the rest of these skeletons down here? I think that guy likes to open the door. Might need to pull Seth and Erica back a little bit because I would like them to have some healing. Oh, hello there. Ow. Yeah, I would like them to have a healer nearby. Um, I guess we can use Lorachel for this chapter, just as we use um, Garrick and Innes for the last one. Lorachel's in a bit of an interesting spot because she is needed to recruit someone down the line, and I will bring her for that chapter, but I will just then equip everything she has. And I think Archer is clear. Okay. Hmm. I suppose we can get this door. With Joshua, I don't want to burn through that. Hmm. Let's have you two back up a little bit. I guess we can show off the Rachel. Well, we're not showing her off since our animations were turned off, but it's fine. Heal up. And let's just dance you back to the point, just in case anything's lurking out there in the fog. Always better to be safe than sorry. Now then. It's gonna have Mulder take care of these guys. Dawson can hang out in case we need anyone to assist with the boss. Are you gonna move? 
Very interesting spot to go to, Skeleton. Very interesting indeed. This kind of did nothing. Okay. Home, I need you to on chest duty. I like how his vision kind of like goes away whenever he is at a chest there. Hmm. The problem is I don't want any archer to come out and snipe you. But I would like you to get some XP here. Just do the take drop, just so she's not attacking. I think I'll just have Joshua finish you. Just so no archer comes up in front of Joshua and snipes her from behind him. And another chest key. Okay, now as for these guys. Seth, of course, being as good as usual. Nothing new here. always dance. Although I would like to, if I heal from here, dance. Okay. Oh, I'd actually rather have Archer do this. I don't think anything else is going to be coming through, even though I am a little bit paranoid. dance for you. How do you do against this one? Oof. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to take a chance. Why not? Oh, there we go. Rewarded. <laughs> Rewarded for taking a chance. No strength, but defense is always nice. I do want you to not just pick you off with Seth. I don't want Teddy's to be exposed to anything naturally. Okay. And the revenants are making the way here, but the rest of us should be good. And you're going for Erica. Yeah, despite looking like it, the claws aren't actually poisonous. I mean, you'd think like a claw, like it has like blood tipped on it would be something that would poison you, but it's not. I can't remember if there is a poison claw in this game anywhere. Okay, some dodging would be really helpful. Thank you. Another crit. Three in a row. Erica is tired of monsters. Yeah, Fog of War maps always do this thing where they kind of just like wait to see. Suspenseful. It's happening. Um, okay, I really want... I want to see what's down here. Sorry guys, no healing for you. Hmm. Yeah, I was afraid of you. See if they come out for Joshua. Maybe we'll have Lorich will go back and help healing. And this side we'll just keep checking for the reinforcements. And there you are. Not really anyone to dance for this turn. I suppose Archer can back up these guys. And there's three of them. No fourth crit in a row, but that's we were already pretty lucky to begin with. Four! And 
they just all walk up and die to Erica. But it is a good way to use this XP for reinforcements, being it to Erica, I guess, here. Not getting that much more experience. They're pretty weak, as you'd imagine. Burning through the silver quite a bit, though. Let's see if we can get the next one with the steel sword. That might be better. Okay. You're moving. Thank you for not hitting. That would have been extra annoying. Okay, we are almost there. Oh, you're the boss. Yeah. The promoted skeletons are this purple color. I think they're believe I believe they're called Wright. W R I T E. I need to look at his name one more time. Hello there. Nope. Let me just double check. Oh, Dazzle's healed. Tana not so much. Defeat enemy. Pretty vague of a title if you ask me. Thank you. Mulder. Okay. Tana, do you still have that spear? You do, actually. Hmm. Um, but there really isn't anyone to... Hmm. No, trade to Tana. There we go. Wow, that is really bad. Hmm. I want that skeleton. That is actually really bad. Um, I'm just gonna heal you. This might be a reset. Oh boy. Well, let's focus on this side, I guess. Because if Joshua kills the enemy, then the. Well, if Joshua kills the boss, then the archer has room to go for Tana. She did take the archer in the previous chapter that was next to that fort, the, the guy that wouldn't attack us, so hopefully she can take um, a hit from a, a skeleton archer. Mm -hmm. What was the rapier do? I guess it's going to have to be the... Oh, that wasn't the one I wanted to choose, but that's fine. We'll just put Seth near her. She should take it off on take it out on enemy phase. Two more are left. And I'm just gonna put Arthur here to block off Tethys. Um Rachel, I need you to take drop him. And you're going for Seth over Erica. I have a javelin equipped. Not the best. Hello there. Nope. Well, that one was exact damage. Very helpful. Of course, it would be helpful if you'd level up strength, Erica. Just saying. And you're back at it. Yeah, so this is what I'm, what I'm afraid of. So Joshua naturally kills this guy, as we expect. He gets a good level up. Okay, he gets a okay level up. I mean, that's not really what I'd call good. Okay, you're gonna actually block me. Okay, well, luckily the AI is dumb. I remember hearing about FE6 or 7 where the melee units would move first and the ranged ones would go second, I believe. Um, hopefully that's the case here, although you did have a spear. And I don't think there's anyone else left. We're a bit crowded in the stairway. Thank you for the healing. Okay, can you kill him, please? We 
can promote her if we wanted to. That might be a good idea to do for the next chapter. The next chapter, there are some enemies that spawn in hard to reach places. And the victories near theme means we have almost won. This guy should be the last enemy. Yeah, but there are some hard to reach enemies in the next chapter, so I'll have to think about that bef between then and now. Anyway, we have saved the green units, and I will see you next time for chapter 12.